barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. So I want to talk about what I heard last night. And I think it's important that so we all can hear the big picture. I know I probably um, talk about topics that don't pertain to in the fights, to in the ring type of things. But I, I, I want to broaden your awareness to the realities of boxing and the and understand the business and the sport of boxing so you can have a greater understanding of the realities of what happened in the sport of boxing. Hopefully I didn't lose y'all in that. Um, Albert Morchado, who I consider a plus level talent, a plus level potential. Uh, he could be the guy with his frame can probably go to 140. I believe he's at 130 now can go to 140 and be a pretty stellar guy. Right. But at the beginning of the fight, it, it perked my my ears perked up when I heard presented by Matchroom Boxing, uh, Golden Boy Promotions, and Miguel Cotto Promotions. Did you hear those three names? I never heard Albert Machado's promotions. And why is that important? Because every name that you heard gets a slice of that check. And I just want us to fully grasp the pros and cons of, of owning your career. Albert Machado is going to, by the looks of it, going to make a lot of money in this sport. By the looks of it, at 130, he's a problem because of his physical assets. He's tall, he's long, got range, you understand. And in a few more fights, he's going to have a nation behind him, or excuse me, a country behind him, uh, He's not there yet because he's fighting in a small arena and definitely not doing main events yet. So he's not there yet. But I think if they move him along in the right way, he's going to be a major force in monopolizing uh, monetary gain in the sport of boxing. I, I think that I just think the good I, 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 he has the goods. He has the potential to have the goods. Uh, obviously, we want to see him in a in a in a big fight. But the business of boxing is right before our very eyes and we don't get it and it's right before the fighter's eyes and yet he doesn't get it now if you now if you say this see always what what's never said is in addition to uh match room boxing uh what was the other name golden boy entertainment miguel proto promotions the u.s government in taxes that's the fourth that's the fourth promotion company that's never ever gets mentioned all right and all the fees that he has to pay he, remember he got to pay that promotional money back that promotion is not free it comes out of his check you know the advance that he takes for his training camp comes out of his check you understand all the money that he's asked for leading up to him making money comes out of his future checks and this is why i humbly say I can honestly and humbly say all fighters need to have their own promotion company. All fighters, the first thing you need to do when you get money is buy an asset. Whether you live in wherever city you live in, whether it's a home, whether it's a promotional company, you need to create an asset when you get your six-figure check. And I'm just going to just keep it real with you. Uh, whether it's Al Heyman, you don't have to be with Al Heyman to start your own promotion company. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make this video f to force you to choose sides. I just want to heighten your intelligence, and I don't know how old the kid is, but I definitely want to see the kid fight more, and I want him to own his future. Uh, I don't want him to be Tito or um, whoever else. Sergio Martinez, who has to come back and who not not has to, but is willing to come back and fight. Um, you know, um, he's. I mean, the kid is super talented. I I I hope his brain is as as talented. And I just want to make that like you carry that over to the real life as it relates to real life. You know, you gotta own. You gotta own you. And when you don't own you and you let people own you, you're going to wake up at 66 like, fuck, I don't want to go to work. Or 72, fuck, I don't want to go to work. My body's tired. what Drake say? I call some all, but I'm tired. <laughs> the mob ties, what do he say? I'm, I'm, I'm drawing, I, I, got the, I got the cadence. I'm out of lovey-dovey shit. 
Oh, brother, I'm your fuck that all lovey dovey shit. I'm your brother shit. Yeah, that shit. But uh, anyways, man, I, I just want to do this video and just help you guys understand. So every time you watch a fight, always add the U.S. government to that. All right, <laughs> always add promotional fees. Always add that to that. Okay, always add the sanctioning body. Said I mean it's so it's so many hidden tax in being a professional fighter. <laughs> I just want you. I, I I just want to share that with you guys, and just so you can have an understanding of the realities that these fighters go through and the amount of fees and what gets really in real life gets taken out of their check if they don't run the run it through their own promotional company you know so anyways man barbershop conversations I, I i i think the world of machado's talent uh i definitely want to see him in a in a b level fight now i think he's ready for the b b plus level at 130 um uh, you know like an abner Mares level something like that i will i will i would mind seeing him against a guy like Quayar, you know something like that uh uh yeah something like that um so anyways man barbershop conversations man feel free hit the subscribe button uh talk to you guys soon the holla